Right. So we're here at the Better World 2022. Hi. Hi. This Please is Taufik. This is Taufik from iWave, and we're excited on this is the last day of Embedded World, and we're excited to be here, and it's been a great show so far. So what are you showing at the Embedded World? Yeah. So we are showing a wide range of system on modules around the ARM SOCs, the Xilinx, and the Intel FPGAs. So here we have the complete system on modules around the Smart, the Q7, and the OSM standard as well as single board computers. So if you look at the, the various strains starting from the IMX 8 series from NXP all the way across the IMX. Okay. Yeah. So from, uh, you said IMX, yeah. NXP? Yeah. yeah, so starting from the IMX 8M Plus to the Layerscape and the complete thermal solutions around the Smart SOC. We have the complete Smart system on modules and uh, this is the Layerscape processor from in the Smart form factor. This is the IMX 8M Plus. And what can you say about the special skills you have at the company uh, doing, what is your formats and everything, how do you do these? Yeah, so we, we primarily believe in scalability of system on modules and over the last two years we have seen that system on modules are now the preferred approach for your product design, keeping in mind the supply chain challenges and in terms of your material, in terms of the supply chain challenges and also at your time to market. Nice. Yes. What are we getting here? What are these? So this is the newly launched OSM standard. This is the newly launched OSM standard for system on modules and there's been a lot of good press around the system on modules. And the key fact being these are more solder on system on modules. So you have the very small form factor and you have the, the it eliminates the need for an edge connector which were previously there in standards such as Mark and Q7. And also you have much more in terms of the number of pinouts. So you have 662 pinouts on the OSM form factor which gives you a lot of flexibility and scalability. Nice. What is the IMX93? Yeah, so the IMX93 is definitely coming out from NXP in the month of November and uh, we are also building the OSM system on module around the IMX93 series. So what does it do? Is like a it's more for, Cortex yeah. high performance? Yeah, it's more from medium performance and more built for AGI applications and for smart cameras and smart city type of solutions. What is the open standard module? The open standard module is more a, it's more of a standard for the solderons. If you can see here, there are four standards: the size L, the medium, the small, and zero. So these are four form factors that can build upon each other and gives you a standard for the solderon modules. So this is the size L standard, and this is the size M standard. So there are various form factors based on the features you require on the saw. Um, Somebody is asking me to ask ask about the Silinx RF sock. Uh, Zinc Ultra Scale Plus RF Soc. You do anything with that? Yeah. So that's the Zinc Ultra Scale Plus RF Soc. So we have various uh, system on modules around the MP, the, the Xilinx FPGA and SOC FPGA as well. So this is the RF Soc system on module that's based on the ZU49 FPGA and it's more tailored towards the 5G and the RF, the more from those kind of uh, applications. So uh, there's a lot of performance in there? Yeah, it's, it's a high performance with a lot of uh, uh, 16 channel ADCs and 16 channel DACs at, mo at very high speeds. Why is the chip so big? That, that is the FPGA, it's, it comes in that form factor and the package which we ensure the scalability across the, three, uh, the, the ZU49 to the ZU29. What are people able to do with this kind of uh, boards? So these are more tailored projects. towards, yeah, sorry? Some cool projects. Yeah, so they are more towards medical imaging, your high sp high performance compute, the high speed uh, uh, spectrometers, and your test and measurement equipment. So these are tailored to Let me stand right here. And there's some more right here. Uh, yeah, so this is so a zinc ultra scale. What's the architecture in, in there? Yeah, so this is the FPGA plus an SOC FPGA, the, the ultra scale plus, as an ARM core as well as an FPGA. So all the way from the ZU4, the ZU5, the ZU7. All the way to the ZU19, we have the system on module which provides you complete scalability. Can you uh, show it like this? Yeah. Oh, it's a camera. It looks cool. Big, and big chip. Yeah, big, big FPGA. Big FPGA. Yeah. And uh, with all the with customizations all the, you're doing. Exactly, around. customization. And this is a complete system on module with the board to board expansion connectors which you can leverage upon to build your, based on your features you require. This is a smaller chip. Yeah, this is a smaller chip. This is the Zinc Ultra Scale 4 series. Right. Cool. And what's next? What's next is we also have the telematic solutions out there. So these are the complete range of system on modules. 
and uh, was the, also like the custom design boards so in case customers ask us to build a complete product we enable customers with the with the career board design over our system on module which they can use and go to markets with their product uh, if i come back right here um, so there's a question in the live chat uh, what does it cost and how to get one do they have any development boards uh, for rf so some yeah so you can always reach out to us at contact at iwaveglobal.com and uh, you can, these development kits are available on mouser and digiki as well and we have the development kits for the complete range of system on modules nice Cool. Uh, so, is it great to be back at the end of the? It's world? amazing to be back face to face after a gap of three years, and we do see a lot of crowd coming in, and it's, it's been a good three days of experience. Uh, it's nice to reconnect. Yes, with partners, suppliers, and customers. So it's been a good networking ground for the last three days. All right. Let's see if there's uh, one last comment coming in. Uh, what is uh, very exciting for the future? What's the effortless? So that's uh, Sima Let's and, go close it, to there. Yeah, and so it's, uh, it's him. Yeah. So, uh, so he's he's Eddie from Sima, and uh, he's he, Sima is basically an MSOC company. Now we're going to talk a minute. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Sure. So it's live stream. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. Uh, so do you want to do you want to speak about this? Uh, please stand right here. So, what are we looking at here? Well, this is a uh, our MLS OC. The uh, the product from Sima AI. We are a, a company uh, founded in 2019 by um, uh, Krishna Rangasai. He is ex and uh, so this is our first chip. Is uh, an, as I said, it's an MLSOC to enable effortless ML at the edge. And as you can see here, the um, it's, it's the blocks look like a, an uh, SOC building block, but the crown jewels of our SOC is the uh, MLA, the accelerator, delivering 50 tera ops at 5 watts. So we have um, what we support is definitely uh, the um, computer vision market uh, segments like um, smart camera, um, robotics, uh, autonomous drives, autonomous systems. And, and, and as well as drones, of course. And uh, yeah, very. Uh, as you can see here, we have uh, we can support any network, any workloads, any machine learning algorithm. Uh, we are delivering 10x performance versus uh, other other players at all at a push button um, software um, experience, basically. Nice. So this is a beast. Sorry? This is a beast of uh, uh, well, performance. It's, is it yeah. the industry leading in terms of performance for what? In, yes, uh, especially for Edge because, you know, 50 teraops at 5 watts. That's, uh, we haven't seen any, any uh, company doing this. And also the, the, uh, the most compelling this of, uh, part of it is that we, we can achieve 10x performance versus our, uh, our competitors. And, yeah. and the, also the... Um, the, the software flow is really push button, as I just mentioned. So uh, we have. And you got some A65 chips in there. Uh, there is a. This is one sort. So this is a quad core A65 Arctic uh, Cortex uh, A65 processor. And uh, this is the for the pre-processing. So these the, the compute engines are basically the application processor, the EV, um, EV74 computer vision processor. Uh, it's it's a, a vector processor, and then of course the MLA, which is doing all the inferencing of the neural networks. But typically, some some parts of the of a, of the pipeline have to be implemented on a, on, on for example the EV74, which is a vector processor that uh, can implement the number of layers which are not supported by uh, an, um, an uh, the MLA process, MLA device. So. Uh What's the market? What are people uh, going to be doing we with this? Initially, we'll focus on uh, on smart smart vision, uh, smart cameras, um, drones, and, and uh, robotics. These are the, the three markets market segments that we will focus on initially. And later on, we will also add the uh, medic healthcare healthcare ma medical market and and also um, the autonomous uh, drives and autonomous autonomous systems. But and how soon is it coming out? 
Uh, excuse me? How much time do you need to finish make it work? Uh, it, chip? It, it is working already. Uh, uh, it's, it's real. It's real. It's Where real. Is the chip? I don't have the chip here, but I know, be patient. We'll, it will be uh, shown avail very soon. It's already taped out. It's already uh, yeah, 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 it's taped if, out. If people so, have it. Uh, we, have it. We, uh, we have. We <laughs> nice. And how's the partnership here with iWave? How do you get this? How do you work together to get something like this done? So maybe you want to check uh, out. iWave is a is a long lasting partner for uh, a, a number of people that are in in the company, and we, they have very successfully helped us build uh, our initial boards we have a, a combination a combo board that's what, what we call it it's a kind of an evaluation board to uh, to, to allow customers to uh, um, evaluate our technology and then we also uh, have a, a PCI Express production board and we're working on a, a dual M.2 uh, module also with our SOC but uh, they are very instrumental and actually very key partners to yep. us to uh, enable our products to in, in our go-to-market strategy. So you had a great embedded world? Yeah, it was really, really good. We had uh, have seen a lot of customers and uh, you know, great also networking event for uh, all of us. I mean, uh, where are you based? I'm based in Belgium and uh, yeah, but you know. The I, company's uh, headquarters? Uh, no, no, the headquarters of SEMA is in San Jose. Uh, we have a uh, big, the big sites are was uh, San Jose, and we have uh, another major site in uh, in India. And uh, I'm the, I have a, an office in. Uh, we are the first office in uh, in Europe, let's say, the smaller office. So uh, the demo you have there is it on final silicon on programmable logic? No, it's uh, it's dedicated silicon. Uh, it's it's built the from demo? the it's built from the ground up the uh, the board. Where can we see the demo? Uh, the demo. And there's more, maybe you want to talk about the booth? So, so, yeah, this is this is a presentation, but after this presentation, this is a running video. But there, there will be, uh, so here you can see a, a, an overview of what we are what we are doing and which markets we are um, focusing on. As you, with, uh, as you can see, we focus on robotics, autonomous vehicles, uh, also healthcare. But uh, the initial focus is on, on, on the... Uh, um, robotics. So what's the price? Uh, I, that's something we, we, we'd like to Don't take offline. Uh, no comment yeah. about it. <laughs> People can contact you and place orders and everything. Yeah, good, good question. Cool. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, anything else do you want to talk about? No, it's all no? good. It's been a good three days and uh, Sima is also one of the leading partners and the MSOC coming out from Sima and we're looking forward to building a good partnership ahead. How many partners do you have in the industry? So we work closely with major silicon vendors starting from NXP, Xilinx, Intel with also a few more partnerships that have been signed up in the last two, three days. So definitely at Embedded 2023, we'll have okay. more partners on the wall. What did you sign? I'm joking. You don't have to come. <laughs> okay, so that's cool. Yeah. So, and... Uh, Headquarters. Uh, we are headquartered of Bangalore, India, and we do the complete manufacturing in Japan, but aim to have a global footprint. In Japan, with the best SMT machines. Exactly. Yeah. High quality. Right? High quality. Right. Yeah. All right. Cool. Thanks a lot. Thank you.